So today, we're going to be talking about Aperture, okay? Eight years ago, I walked away from a career job to become an independent filmmaker. I started from the bottom, now I'm here. And I ain't going nowhere. Every lens that you get, it has an aperture. It also has the focal length. Like you might get a 50 millimeter lens and it has an aperture of 2.8 or something like that. So the aperture is what determines your depth of field, which is your separation of a subject between that subject and the background. So the lower aperture cameras, they're better in low light. Like a camera with an aperture of 1.8 will be a good like low light lens. Okay. Um, apertures with like 5.6 or something like that. Not very good. Not usually not very good quality. It just depends. That aperture is what you want to use. If you have a shot and you want everything in focus, you will turn that aperture up. Now it will, it will make everything in the camera dark. So you will have to adjust other settings, but sometimes you need that for wide shots. You need that. Now, if you want a really good close up shot, that's very cinematic. You'll turn that aperture down. 1.8, 1.5. But <laughs> remember, you, you'll have a very shallow depth of field, uh, which means like the background will be really, really, really blurry. Okay, so that was a quick lesson. I hope that helped. I'm Marlon Ladd. This is Filmmaking 101. This is Little Mav, who wants to do something else right now. So anyway, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. Hey, can you say bye-bye? Yeah.